he's nickling us back after quite a long break. So busy, so busy. And it was World Book Day today as well. Oh, Now, you know I love my pies and pie stuff. I love pie. Pie's great. Pie's just the greatest. Pie, 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 and pie and chips. But what about raspberry pie? All right, today, or yesterday, they released their own imager for flashing your micro SD cards to micro SD from Windows, Mac, and Ubuntu stroke Debian. Okay, probably get to work for Arch, not a problem, it's not a problem at all. So you can download it here. So here's the page up here. Just go to raspberrypi.org forward slash downloads. It will take you to the page. You can download the one for you. So you know, you know, normally we use Etcher, don't we? So if we're flashing something to a USB stick or a micro SD, we use Etcher, majority of us, or you can use DD if you really want to, and there's others available if you want to use it. And it's really easy to use. You select your image, select your drive, flash it, and off you go. Now, normally when you get an SD card with your Raspberry Pi, it comes with noobs, which is several stuff on there, so you can choose which operating system you want. So, imager is this. So we'll double click the Raspberry and here we are over here. So you get to choose the OS you want to flash for your Raspberry Pi. Oh yeah. So you can have the standard Raspbian, super duper, comes with most stuff. Then it says here, other Raspbians. Mmm. Now some of you may not know this, it comes in various flavours. Yeah. So we've got Raspberry and Lite, which we basically use for, de for robots and stuff like that. Well, you don't need a desktop, you can just SSH into it, etc. Or there's the full desktop of all the applications that comes with it. But as you can see, that's 2.5 gigabyte download. Also, also with this, sorry, I've got a cold coming, and no, it's not the virus. We get Libre Elect, so it's like Cody like entertainment system, so for watching your movies on TV. There's miscellaneous utilities to EEPROM recovery. Sometimes the Raspberry Pi will go blah, and you can flash it with this, and it'll do it. And then we can erase it and format it. Nice and simple, or just as with Etcher, you can use a custom one that you've already downloaded. But we're not going to do that. No, no, no. So I'm going to close that. So I've got a little SD card here. I'm just about to plug in. So I'll plug him in. You'll see him come up in a minute. It's all over there. Okay. So I'm going to choose notice. What I'll do, I want to erase this card first, don't I? So if I click erase, then choose the card. It comes up with a one gigabyte card, yeah. Because when you're doing Raspbian Lite, it's actually two gig, actually, to tell you the truth. But there we go. So I'm going to click on that one. And then I'm going to write it. Badum. And off we go. So it's going to erase this card. Now, boom, we're done. And when I click on continue, you can then see we have our erased two gigabyte volume. So now we want to install something, don't we? Using the Raspberry Pi imager. If you like Raspberry Pi, this is going to be ideal for you because you can do mess stuff, you know, blah, 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 blah. You just choose stuff as you go along. It also makes it easier for new users that have got a Windows computer or a Mac or even Linux to do it this way. Maybe they're not really happy using Etcher or DD or whatever else you want to write your cards or disks even or GNOME disks it used to be called. So I'm going to choose here to go to other Raspbian and we're going to go to Raspbian Lite. And this one came out in February. I'm going to choose our SD card. And there it is again. I don't know why it says that. And we're going to go to write. Bish bosh. We're going to type him in. Get my password. Hit it there. And it's going to start writing to the card. Isn't that simple for your Raspberry Pi stuff? Yeah. So if you like Pi, and especially Raspberry Pi, the electronic version, not the fruity filled pastry, you're going to love this. It will help you enormously if you're not used to doing this sort of thing. So yeah. Go to the page I just showed you, download it, install, bish bosh, we're done. And as you can see here, it's right into the cards it is. But I'm not going to go any further with the video, because it's done. Raspberry Pi Imager. It's done. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Nice.